Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm bringing you guys a tutorial. I'm going to be teaching you how to do a brakeless manual. It's a pretty highly requested tutorial and you guys seemed to love my last tutorial which I did, which was the how to power slide on a scooter tutorial. I'll link that down in the description if you haven't seen it already. Definitely check it out. Because I got such a good response from that and all of you guys have been asking me to start up the tutorials again, I've decided that I'm going to try to bring out a tutorial at least once a week. I'll get you guys to suggest me some more trick tutorials that you want to see in the comment section below. I'll also make a post on Instagram from time to time asking you guys to request me tricks there. So definitely go over and follow me on Instagram at checked out if you haven't already. I use brakeless manuals pretty much on an every single day basis when I go riding. Brakeless manuals are amazing because you can use them on pretty much any obstacle which is what I love about them. You can use them on ledges, manual pads, you can use them out of quarters, back into quarters, you can use them on rails even, you can use them on precision rides and obviously on flat ground which is where I'll be teaching you the trick today. There are definitely not a whole lot of tips for a manual, basically brakeless manuals or manuals just in general. Any balance trick is just practice, practice, practice. So there's not a heap of tips and advice on the brakeless manual but I do my best. With the brakeless manual First of all, a brakeless manual and just a normal manual with the brake. The difference is obviously when you're doing a manual with the brake, you've got your feet on top of the brake and you're using that to kind of help you stay steady while doing a manual. A brakeless manual, which is pretty much what every single person is doing today when it comes to manuals, is when you do a manual with both feet on the deck without using the brake like so. A brakeless manual is definitely the way to go these days. If you do a manual with the brake these days, you get a lot of hate for it and you get called names. I definitely recommend learning how to manual without a brake and I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to do that right now. First of all, you wanna find a huge flat ground area with no bumps, no slopes, no cracks in the ground, no sticks and stones. There's a bunch of sticks and stones on my flat ground, but I've already learned how to do brakeless manuals. But definitely when you're learning brakeless manuals, I would go to like a garage or like a big kind of undercover open space with really, really, really flat, smooth ground or outdoor. Although you happen to find really, really smooth concrete in like underground car parks and learn brakeless manuals there. I do recommend learning how to manual with a brake first before learning brakeless manuals, although you don't have to because they are pretty much like completely different tricks. The brakeless manual and the manual using the brake. So if you can manual using the brake, that's good. If you can't, doesn't really matter. You should still be able to learn how to brakeless manual as easy as if you could do manuals with the brake beforehand. So step one, you need to get your feet positioning in space. So you found your nice flat ground area. Now you need to get your feet positioned in place with the brakeless manual. Foot positioning is a huge thing when it comes to brakeless manuals. The brakeless manual is mainly in your back foot and your back leg. You want to have it right at the back of the deck, rubbing up against your brake or against your foot fender. And your front foot you want to have pretty much planted right in the center of the deck. You don't want to have it at the front. You don't want to have it rubbing up against your back foot. You want to have it right in the middle. So now you've got your feet in place, you need to be rolling along and you want to lean back, you want to bend your knees and a lot of the manual is going to be in your knees. Your knees are going to get quite sore from practicing. Never have your legs straight while manually. That's going to cause you to probably fall backwards and smack your skull. You want to be holding onto the bars really, really, really tight and put a lot of weight onto your back foot and your back leg. You want to lean back and kind of position your body as if there's a stool coming out the back of your deck and you're sitting on a stool, you want to position your back and your knees as if you're sitting on a chair or a stool. And you want to lean back and crouch down and then slowly lift up the front wheel. And you want to lift up your front wheel the tiniest, weeniest bit. You don't want to lift up your front wheel more than two inches ever while doing a manual. I find that because especially when learning them, you'd much rather fall back forward onto both wheels than fall backwards onto your head. Not that that always happens, but it just looks a lot cleaner if your front wheel is just raised off the ground rather than like all the way up like that. And then once you're leaning back, what you want to do is find your balance point. So instead of kind of going all over the place like that, that's okay when you're first learning, but what you want to do specifically when you first get into the manual is find your balance point. And what you want to do in the brakeless manual is not hesitate and don't panic. You want to keep your body really, really relaxed and really, really loose. Instead of all stiff like that and holding on really tight and kind of panicking, you just want to stay loose and just be able to move around and kind of flow with the manual rather than going up and down. You kind of want to kind of float as if you're on a cloud doing a manual. I've never personally been on a cloud and done a manual, but I just assume that's what it would feel like. So you're on a nice flat surface, you've learned how to manual with your brake or without, it doesn't really matter. Your feet in place, back foot at the brake, front foot in the middle of the deck, you're kind of crouching down as if you're sitting on a chair, you've lifted up and you're trying to find that balance point. If you're going up and down at the start, that is absolutely fine. And I definitely recommend learning this trick with speed because it's a lot easier to hold a manual with speed, not because you'll go further, just because it's easier to find your balance point as opposed to if you're on the spot trying to do a manual. To find your balance point, you just want to practice, practice, practice. I find the easiest way to find your balance point is by leaning back enough, having your front wheel about an inch, inch and a half, maybe two inches off the ground, having your back crouched, your knees down, and you kind of want to stick your bars out in front of you, and that will allow your knees to bend easier and your back to arch easier, and then just before your arms lock straight, you want your arms to stop stretching just before they lock into a straight position. You want to keep them kind of still a little bit floppy at the elbows, and that's when I usually find my balance point. And then once you've got your balance point, you can just hold it for miles. And as soon as you want to go down, all you want to do is kind of just put your weight back forward, reverse the steps that I just told you, and roll away clean. 
They are all the tips and advice I have for you with the brakeless manuals. I really, really, really hope it did help out. Despite there not being much to a brakeless manual, I still tried to go in depth as possible. If you did enjoy this tutorial, please let me know by leaving a thumbs up on this video, dropping a positive comment below if you enjoyed, and suggest some more tricks for my next tutorial that I'll be doing next week. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm about to hit 60K, which is just amazing. I should be on 60K by the time this video is up. I better be. And I definitely think I'll be hitting 100,000 subscribers soon, which is just amazing. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace out. Thank you.